I couldn't help but doubt my eyes. The figure of my husband was there, where he shouldn't have been. Huh? Why? Why are you here? My husband should be on a business trip to the West Coast. Yet, unexpectedly, he's in a hospital in the East Coast. And not only that, he's in a neighboring state. That wasn't the only thing that surprised me. Next to my husband, there was a woman and a child sitting closely together. The mother and child directed soft smiles at my husband, and he responded with kindness, smiling back at them. If a stranger were to see it, they would think it's a scene of a happy family, I thought. But I felt differently. The scene I was seeing was a strange one. My own husband with a strange woman and child. I couldn't just let it slide like this. Slowly, I approached them and called out from behind. My name is Natalie Harper, and I'm 35 years old. After graduating from college, I started working for an advertising agency and got married at the age of 28. And I have been married for seven years this year. My daughter Alana, who was born when I was 30, is almost five years old. She's growing up healthy and thriving, without any major illnesses. My husband Lenny works at a regular company, but he's been getting busier lately with lots of overtime and business trips. Due to those reasons, our daughter Alana has developed a slight discomfort towards her father. Hey, Mom, is Daddy coming home today? On this day, while preparing dinner, my daughter asked me that. I paused in my cooking, standing in the same posture as my daughter, and replied, yeah, he's coming home, but like usual, I think he'll be late. Dad seems really busy with work. Really? So it'll just be you and me until bedtime? Yeah, that's right. Yay! Let's watch cartoons together. That's fine. I'll eat dinner and take a bath first. Yes. My daughter's face lit up, and she hurriedly went to the living room to set the tablecloth. A daughter openly delighted at her father's late return. Seeing that, I felt a slightly complicated mix of emotions, but it was unavoidable. It's not surprising that my daughter doesn't feel close to him. After all, my husband almost comes home just to sleep. We used to go out together as a family on weekends, but the last time we did that was over a year ago. His work is so demanding that working on weekends is not unusual. On days when he doesn't have work, he goes out alone somewhere. Occasionally, he stays at home, but he locks himself in his room, only watching movies or surfing the internet. Especially in the past year or so, there has been no conversation with our daughter, and even when their eyes meet, they don't exchange words. I always had to be in between them, so I spent my days being careful, even though we were a family. Halana is almost five years old. If we continue this misunderstanding, our daughter will truly grow distant from her father. In the past, we used to go out as a family often, and our daughter used to adore her father. I want our daughter and husband from those days to return soon. Thinking so, I decided, unusually, to wait for my husband's return. In the early morning, when I greeted him with a welcome back, my husband made an overtly displeased expression. Although slightly irritated by his attitude, I decided to initiate the conversation for now. Hey, you haven't properly talked with Alana for about a year. It's not like that at all. There's just not much to talk about. As her father, I want you to be more responsible in that aspect. All my friends go out with their families, and here at home, you don't even talk with your daughter. Don't you think that's a bit sad? Even if you say that, it can't be helped. I'm not out just having fun. I'm doing my job, okay? I understand that, but I still think Alana is feeling sorry for herself in this situation. My husband let out a sigh, looking bothered, and sank deep into the sofa. As I sat next to him, Lenny, loosening his tie, slowly spoke. I'm sorry, but I'm really busy right now. There's a promotion at stake, and I want to focus on my work. Your dedication to your job is evident, but isn't family important too? 
I know working on weekends is tough, but just for one day. I don't want to be surpassed by other colleagues. Can't you understand? I've been working so hard for the sake of my family. I understand that, but... Having said this much, I found myself in distress. I know that my husband is dedicated to his job and is desperately working for his promotion. But he is so absorbed in his work that he doesn't see my daughter or me now. If this continues, there will be cracks, not only in my relationship with my daughter, but in my entire family. Feeling insecure, I willingly confide in my feelings to my husband. Lenny, please. I understand you're busy, but I want you to keep Alana's birthday open. Huh? Birthday? Yes, next month on the first Sunday. Technically, her birthday is on a Friday, right? But I also work on weekdays, so I want to take her out on Sunday. I don't know my schedule for next month yet. But at this point, there are no business trips, right? Even if you work on weekends, you can take a day off, can't you? Please, for Alana's sake. My husband, in response to my repeated requests, bluntly said, well, I get it. I understood that he reluctantly agreed even though he was in a bad mood, but even so, I was happy. The next day, while having dinner, I asked Alana, Hey, Alana, your birthday is coming up soon, right? Is there anything you want? Huh? Really? I want something to make ice cream. An ice cream maker, maybe? How about we go look at them together sometime? Yeah! Yay, I'm so happy! With a beaming smile, Alana happily continued eating her hamburger for dinner. Feeling in good spirits, at that moment, I temporarily set down my fork and looked into my daughter's eyes. You know, Alana, for your birthday, how about going out with Dad and me? Huh? Isn't Dad working? Well, Alana, Daddy will take a day off for your birthday. So, let's go wherever you want. Just the three of us. Really? I want to go to an amusement park. Got it. Then, let's go to the amusement park as a family. You can choose the place you like as long as we can get there. Okay? Yay! Thanks, Mom! During the meal, my daughter was fidgety, repeatedly asking, Is Dad really coming? And, Can we really go with the three of us? Feeling the overwhelming cuteness, I couldn't help but smile. Although I had thought my daughter disliked her father, it seemed that deep down she had been lonely. She appeared much happier than I had imagined, particularly reacting to the idea of the three of us being together as a family. One day as the weekend with plans to visit the amusement park with our daughter approached, my husband came home unusually early. He awkwardly opened his mouth, saying, Hey. When I asked what happened, he remained silent for a moment and then spoke with a heavy heart. I have a business trip from Thursday to Sunday this week. What are you talking about? You promised to keep that day open because it's Alana's birthday, didn't you? It can't be helped. The person who was originally supposed to go suddenly couldn't make it. I was the only one who could replace him. Even so, why didn't you refuse this time? Do you realize how much Alana was looking forward to it? I'm telling you. There was no other option. It wasn't a situation where I could refuse. Despite our daughter sleeping in the next room, my husband raised his voice without concern. You, Alana is sleeping. Attempting to calm him down, I try, but he continues to shout with a flushed face. It's easy for you since you work in a company where you can leave on time. But I'm different. My advancement depends on how quickly I can rise in a highly competitive environment. Advancement, advancement. What exactly is it? I understand that work is important. But what about us? What about our family? It's a wife's duty to support her husband. This is why I dislike people working in laid-back workplaces. But if that's the case, at least come back early on Sunday. Impossible. The business trip is to the West Coast and it takes five hours one way by plane. Anyway, I can't cancel the business trip from Thursday, so 
you to go together. Wait, Lenny? Ignoring my calls, my husband left the living room. Inside the room, only my sighs echoed. Time passed without me being able to tell my daughter the truth because I didn't know what to explain to her. On Thursday night, the night my husband left for his business trip, I reluctantly decided to confess. Hey mom, we're going to this amusement park on Sunday. Sorry, Alana. Actually, dad, he has a business trip starting today until Sunday. For work? Yeah, I'm sorry. So is it okay if it's just you and me? I understand. Then you and I will go to the amusement park. A moment of silence hinted at our daughter's feelings. She probably wanted to go with her father as a family of three. But she pretended to be okay, not to trouble me. Realizing that, I felt a surge of guilt, almost bringing tears. Even so, for the smiling daughter in front of me, I managed to hold back the tears. Even though Sunday would be just me, I was determined to make sure Alana had a great time. Someday, I'll make it up to Alana. A few days later, on the day of the amusement park visit, early in the morning, my daughter returned home and began preparing to go out on her own. To enter as soon as the park opens, we left home at 7. Clearly excited, she frolicked around the amusement park all day. But upon closer inspection, her face seemed a bit flushed. Worried, I stopped her. Alana, wait a moment. What, mom? I grabbed her arm and placed my hand on her forehead. When I did that, I felt an intense heat. Alana, wait. You have a high fever. Why didn't you say anything? I don't have a fever. Come on, mom. Let's go to the merry-go-round. Alana, this is definitely a very high fever. Shall we go to the hospital together, me and you? No way! I finally got to come with you, mom! Alana! As if her body was in pain, my daughter collapsed on the spot. Why didn't I notice this before it got to this point? Driven by guilt, I quickly held my daughter and rushed to the university hospital in the car. Upon explaining it was the first visit, we were directed to the pediatric department. When her fever was measured, it was over 104 degrees, and she was immediately put on an intravenous drip. We'll watch you here, and your mother can rest a little too. My heart, which was tense, calmed down a bit with the nurse's gentle words. I decided to buy necessary items for my daughter at the shop and take a break on a bench in the rest area. As I walk through the hospital, I hear a familiar voice somewhere. I turned toward the voice and saw an incredible person there. What? Lenny? Why? Why are you here? I couldn't help but doubt my own name. My husband should be on a business trip to the West Coast, yet why is he still here on the East Coast? And in the hospital in the neighboring state? What surprised me even more was not just that. Next to my husband, there was a woman and a child sitting closely together. Hey mom, are we going shopping after the hospital? That's right, with dad and the three of us. Yay, I'm looking forward to going out with the four of us soon. <laughs> Since you'll be a big sister soon, be responsible, okay? From what I overheard, it seems the mother is pregnant with her second child. Her belly is round, and my husband is happily caressing it. The mother and child both smiled softly at my husband, who smiles back warmly. To an outsider, it would seem like a happy family scene, but I see it differently. The scene I'm witnessing is the strange sight of my husband being with an unfamiliar woman and her child. I can't just silently let this pass. I clenched my fist, trembling with anger, and bit my lower lip. Ah, I see. So that's how it is. Working on weekends, business trips, it was all a lie. Unforgivable to betray both me and Alana like this. Step by step, I approached them, stood behind, and slowly began to speak. So, your business trip is already over, huh? My husband turned around abruptly at the sound of my voice. His face had an expression as if he had seen a monster. My 
husband with a pale face desperately squeezed out words. Natalie, why are you here? I went to the amusement park with Alana, but she got a fever. She's getting an IV right now. More importantly, why are you here? Well, um, th that is... What about these people? When I asked, the woman next to us turned pale and looked down. At that moment, the woman's child curiously asked, Who is the lady? A friend of mom and dad? Hello, what were you doing? Today is mom's baby checkup. Even though dad is busy with work, he always comes with us to the hospital. Oh, I see. You really love mom and dad, huh? Yeah, we're going to the amusement park together next time, right? Right, dad? My husband forced a strained smile. Then when the child said, I'm going to the restroom, I left the scene, I seized the moment to confront my husband. Can you explain what's going on? No, it's not like that. This is... What's not like that? From what I've heard, you're the father of that child and the one in the mother's belly, right? You've been telling Alana and me it's work, business trips. How much of a scoundrel can you be? Wait, let's calm down for a moment. I don't plan to break up with you now, Lee. Driven by anger, I grabbed my husband's collar and pulled his face close, almost touching noses. With a cold stare, I spoke in a low voice. You've got to be kidding. Regardless of me, how much more can you betray Alana? A scoundrel like you as a father? <laughs> Don't make me laugh. You, an irresponsible jerk who hurt your own daughter so much, making kids elsewhere. It's not like that. Please, forgive me. Forgive you? How convenient for you to say that. Neither Alana nor I will ever forgive you. When you come back, be prepared to sign the divorce papers. I pushed my husband away with all my might and left the scene. Later, after my daughter's condition proved, on the way home, I obtained divorce papers from the city. After returning home, I gently explained all the circumstances to my daughter. My daughter, though still young, seemed to have desperately understood everything and said the following in the end. That's good. It's not you, Mom, who's leaving. Huh? Mom, you always looked sad when talking to Dad. I don't care as long as I'm with you, Mom. But, Alana, you liked Dad, didn't you? I did, but I love Mom the most. I hate anyone who hurts Mommy. Alana. The figure of my daughter smiling gently brings tears to my eyes. To prevent her from realizing that tears were about to spill, I hugged my daughter tightly. Afterward, I divorced my husband. I made sure to claim assets from him and the woman he cheated with, who was close to giving birth. Despite his desperate attempts to negotiate a reduced settlement, citing the existence of children and the impending birth of a second child, I firmly refused. I have no intention of reducing the settlement or relinquishing control. The one who committed the heartless acts was him, after all. It seems Lenny had been regularly taking time off from work to visit his affair partner's house. This was discovered by his colleague shortly after the divorce, leading to a loss of trust. His career advancement abruptly halted and he became the subject of disapproving looks from his co-workers. I heard Lenny had a family, but it seems he made kids with another woman. Yikes! Gross! Not only can't he do his job, he doesn't even have common sense. Well, if he's that useless, it would be better if we quit. Despite these insinuations, he has managed to stay at the company to pay my alimony and Alana's child support. I'll watch from a distance to see how long this situation continues. On the other hand, as for me, I moved to an apartment near my workplace, starting a life alone with my daughter. Both sets of grandparents regularly visit our home to ensure my daughter doesn't feel lonely. In the future, being a single mother might cause my daughter some sadness. To minimize such situations, I plan to shower her with as much love as possible as a mother. <laughs>